guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I recently saw a fantastic video from Antonio over at Antonio Makes and he was using the We Are Memory Keepers to make the bows and he did, yeah, a wonderful, wonderful tutorial um, showing how to make the bows with the uh, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Now I have to say, I have seen other videos where people have used the punch board to make the bows and by far I found his the easiest to follow and the best one. I've kind of always struggled to, you know, really kind of grasp what people are doing in other videos. Um, but that might just be me. I'm not not in any way slating the videos, but yeah, could well be just me. Um, but his video was amazing. So yeah, I will link his video um, below. Um, but I was obviously excited once I saw it that I thought, oh, finally I can, you know, attempt to do some of these myself. So I've brought along a variety of papers um, that I'm going to use to make some bows. So I've got some from my damask collection. Um, I have got, yep, some other from the damask collection. And then I also brought along a couple from the William Morris, which I thought would make, um, <clears throat> you know, quite kind of contrasting kind of bows. Um, so yeah, we've got kind of different colours going on. And then, did I have another one? Oh, the lace collections, but yeah, I think probably, well, I'm, I, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use those. Um, I also bought along some from my Shabby Chic, so we might do those. I'm not sure whether we will get time to do that many, to be honest. So let's just stick with the, um, you know, the four papers that I've got here at the moment. So obviously I do not use a paper trimmer and, you know, I don't even have one. Um, so mine's going to be a little bit kind of wing and a prayer type stuff, um, but yeah, let's hope for the best. So he started by saying, I think he said that he was using like two by ten. I mean, now I'm looking actually, that sounds pretty big. I wonder whether he meant two centimetres. He must have meant inches, mustn't he? Uh, yeah, I mean, that looks quite ginormous to me. So I'm just going to go down like maybe one and three quarters instead. Um, so already I'm going off at a tangent and, you know, then I'm going to be surprised when this, when it doesn't work as well as his did. I mean, what's wrong with me? Why do I not just follow people's actual instructions? I have no idea. Right, now obviously I don't have a paper trimmer. Rather than tear it down because I don't necessarily want to have that torn, you know, rough edge um, for these. So I'm just going to cut down where I've got that score mark, you know, where I've kind of folded the paper over. And then I want to go to 10 inches. So I'm just going to measure it along my little, um, uh, you know, what do you call it? Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz mat to get my 10 inches. So you've got a piece of paper. He said two by 10, I've done mine one and a half by 10. Um, but yeah, I mean, I may, may regret that and decide actually two by 10 was better. Um, anyway, we, we will see, uh, cause now I'm thinking, well, maybe mine, is a little bit skinny but anyway we shall see and you know we'll just kind of experiment around so he got his um you know piece and then he took his envelope punch board now he put the first one he put in here at two so at two take that notch then go in to five and do that notch okay then you turn it over and you do at two on the other side. Okay, and then you're going to do obviously the same thing, you know, on the facing sides to these. So two, five, oops, five, and then at the two again here. like that okay and then what you do is you take your piece that now looks a little bit like a sort of double double cracker um you know because you've got these kind of bits haven't you and then what you're going to do is you're going to put these end pieces into the envelope punch board end ways on if that makes sense because that's going to give you your little kind of dovetail-y type finished bits Again, I did not make a very good job. Oh my goodness, and I made an even worse job of that one. But, you know, I'm not too worried. I'm, I'm sure they're still going to look fine. Just going to have a quick sip of my tea. Okay, my goodness. 
need that brain power so hopefully it's going to spur me on now then what he did was you're going to take your pieces and he kind of like rolled his around a sharpie um i'm not going to do that because obviously these are going to go in a junk journal and so they're going to get flattened let's be truthful about that then you know they're not going to stay kind of puffy um but you just are basically folding your pieces in so this kind of long section you're folding it in not not actually pressing it down so i've got like a sort of you know curved fold there but basically so that this piece meets this piece so if i just kind of do that there and then you're going to fold it around oops, like that okay oh my goodness amazing tutorial Antonio thank you so much because honestly I had wanted to do these bows for quite a long time and you know I swear to goodness all of the tutorials that I saw they just were like kind of beyond my beyond my capabilities um your tutorial was brilliant so thank you so much really really love these now he used double-sided paper um because obviously you're going to want something pretty fast drying to be able to secure that um in now i you know as you probably know if you follow my channel i love my hot glue gun so what i'm going to do is just literally dab a little tiny bit of hot glue and when i say a tiny bit i mean i really do mean a tiny bit because i'm not trying to bulk my my bow out but just kind of secure it. So just a little tiny, you know, hopefully you can see this, you know, that much, that's all you need to just secure that in the middle, like that. Okay, and that's your bow. And obviously when you come to use this, you know, when you come, oh, sorry, wasn't in frame, I don't think. When you come to use this and glue this on, you know, you've got these kind of flappy bits, of course you could then, you know, add some more glue here if you wanted to to keep them kind of like you know glued together um but you're going to glue it down you know probably all over there which will kind of secure it anyway um you know and i don't think these are going to be going anywhere to be perfectly honest so i don't think you need to really glue these down um but you know it won't be until i actually come to use them whether i will kind of decide i've made a mistake there just going to quickly finish my tea Oh my goodness, honestly, I'm so excited to be able to do these. So yeah, massive thank you to Antonio. So all I'm going to do is just cut, or take a few of my papers and just take them down. So I quite liked that whole, um, you know, 1.75, uh, you know, like one and, yeah, it, we did it at one one and three quarter inches, sorry. I can't remember now whether I said one and a half just now, but, oh no, we did do it at one and a half. Look, I've done mine at one and three quarters now, it's quite wide. Right, okay, well, never mind. We're just going to go on a wing and a prayer. Right, let's try one at one and a half, one at one and three quarters. So again, going to take this one in. So we'll do this one back to the one and a half kind of, oops, one. Yeah, one and a half kind of measurement like that or perhaps I did that other one at one inch I don't know let me double check oh I did it at just over an inch sorry apologies there honestly check out Antonio's um, <laughs> video he's he's way better way better than me obviously um, yeah right then I'm going to just take this William Morris one I love this and I bought this along picked this on intentionally because I thought it was going to just be such a striking um you know yeah striking paper to make it from so just folding that down squish that there like that okay and then again just exactly as we did last time I'm just going to take my scissors to cut along that sort of score line so that's that one and the next one and you know I haven't coffee dyed these or anything they are just plain papers now I know I say this all the time but I'm just kind of putting it out there because if I don't mention it you know I do then get messages so this is 110 GSM 
um, paper so it's thicker than normal copy paper you could probably make these with copy paper they would be quite flimsy though so you know just something to bear in mind really you know if you're using copy paper they are going to be you know a little bit flimsy but you know I I think they'd still be fine but it's just you know something to kind of bear in mind all that's going to be the kind of implications really is they're going to squish a little bit easily aren't they um so yeah just kind of something to to be aware of so again taking this down to you know approximately the 10 inch mark and actually now i've got my kind of like template just going to line them up like that and i'm just going to snip them all down together like that okay so just to kind of save a little bit of time because i doubt you all want to just see me making you know numerous ones of these so then we're going to put them into the punch board and again i'm thinking and this might just be me getting carried away and i'll live to regret this but i'm thinking let's put these in together so we go in at the two inch like that okay then we go in at the five inch like that okie dokie and then we turn them over we go again in at the two inch here <clears throat> okay and then we turn it over again and we're doing the two inch mark whoops the two inch mark here and i mean to be honest they don't have to be perfect i mean when you tie a bow yourself you know it's not perfect is it so you know they're just kind of rough you know rough guides aren't they really so you just want it you know more or less more or less there so i mean i'm doing mine kind of three at a time so to be honest the chances are these probably will be out slightly because obviously the paper's kind of moved around but you know i'm just going going for it and just you know hoping for the best here so oops we we didn't do those little notches in the end so again put all of your pieces back in and then straight in. Oops. I'm going to try and make a better job. Well, slightly better. Okay, and then the other one. So, do you see what I mean about these looking like a, a little bit like a sort of double, double cracker? It's quite fun. <clears throat> right. So that's my little end pieces kind of wishing that I'd coffee dyed these now because I think they would have looked really good coffee dyed but hey I mean I might make some more um and coffee dye them so what I might do with this one is just ink this pink one slightly I mean obviously these are darker papers so they're not going to necessarily you know really show up but this pink one I just think actually you know it would look really pretty being coffee dyed so just coffee dye that a little bit uh, not coffee dye sorry ink just ink this up a little bit so yeah and I mean it depends what your style is doesn't it you know I mean I know I've said this before recently you know in fact um Rachel over at Roxy Creations I mean she never inks anything and her stuff looks incredible doesn't it I mean personally if I don't ink things I just don't really feel that it looks quite finished but she's got this amazing um way of being able to finish things off but without inking them so yeah i don't know how she does it but her stuff always looks incredible even without the inking so it goes to show doesn't it that you know you don't have to have to ink so then what we're doing is just like before we're bringing this in like that to that kind of middle point oh i'm making a bit more of a mess of this one um, yeah I thought it was kind of beginner's luck just now because I hadn't obviously tried these out or anything it was just literally you know a kind of yeah beginner yeah like first first effort um, I might actually glue this down because for some reason I'm finding this one a bit more fiddly so glue that in and then maybe I will find it a bit easier to bring this side in so this might be all be because they're slightly wider than that first one that I made, making it making it slightly harder to handle. Um, so I mean, again, all those all those kinds of things, you know, may make a difference. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that Antonio actually said that his were two inches wide, 
which I mean if I'm struggling with these wow I could really struggle with two inch ones wouldn't I um, but yeah that's that one so I do actually prefer the slightly narrower one it's got to be said um, so yeah going forward I will do them like maybe one and one and a quarter inch something like that um, you know just yeah personal personal preference kind of just you know see what what suits you best so again taking this in squishing it down what you could do here you know if you haven't coffee dyed your paper like I haven't is you could just go in at this point and just ink this underside section because that's really the section that you know you're going to potentially see so by just inking that you know there's no need to then ink the you know ink the entire kind of underside but just that little sort of section that you're going to see any white so again here take that in like that oops like that and then just ink this up just because I'm not over keen when you can see the white inside the bow so for me you know and I'm not saying this you know this is for everybody but for me I think just inking that inside a little bit it kind of just makes it look a little bit better when you can kind of glance in and see it's not glaring white so like that so I think I will do the same thing with this one <clears throat> And, you know, what you could do is, to be honest, I keep a sort of cup of coffee dye, you know, and when I say coffee dye, it's literally black coffee, um, behind my desk. And, you know, there's always like a paintbrush in it that I can just then, you know, pull in and then just quickly coffee dye, you know, odd, odd sheets or odd pieces if I want to. And what you could do I mean I tend to keep quite a big brush in there for doing like whole sheets of paper but what you could do is get a much smaller paintbrush and just take your coffee dye and just paint in there you know if you wanted to get the insides of your bows so that's just another alternative you know that's just kind of occurred to me which you know, if that inside being white bothered you and you hadn't you know inked it like I'm trying to ink these now that's just a sort of another alternative way of getting some colour in there. Um, you know, without having to kind of like, yeah, take your bow apart or anything. Or or try and ink, obviously, into those fiddly spaces because that's going to be tricky. So, there we go. And like I said, I mean, I'm using like the tiniest little dab of glue ever. And I'm just using the hot glue because Antonio had used the um, double-sided tape because you want something very fast drying you know if you've got wet glue or you know I don't know glue stick or whatever glue that you favor if it doesn't dry pretty instantly you're going to have a scenario where your bows are kind of like moving around a little bit um so yeah I just think you you know you probably want something quite quick now here you can see I've kind of mucked up the notches you know not lined them up but you could go in then and just cut them around you know pretty easily to tidy it up so these seem to be very forgiving so yeah let's just kind of finish some off with maybe um you know some decorative pieces so i've got here my lovely bling that you know i just love using so i'm thinking maybe put like a row of two and i think antonio did do this although to be honest it's hard to remember what you've seen and what you haven't and when you've watched a few videos they all start merging in don't they so yeah oh my gosh doesn't that look gorgeous so I've left my bling on like a row of two and the bling that's um, available on my shabby dabby doodah.co.uk shop um, and obviously the papers they are all available on my Etsy shop so then take your bling just glue that down with the hot glue and again you know I'm just using hot glue I'm not saying you have to use hot glue um, you know we all have our favorite favorite glue types don't we I just really do like the instantaneous quality of the hot glue so there we go oh how gorgeous is that bow I love how that looks that is so awesome 
so I'm just going to put that to one side now we are going to kind of have a look at a couple of ideas for what you could then use your bows for in a minute so already my mind's like racing thinking oh my goodness could do this oh could do that could you know could put it on here could put it on there so yeah already I've, I'm buzzing with kind of like lots of ideas of where you could use them or how you could use them now I've got this lovely floral trim which again this is in the same packs as the bling that are in my um, shop on my website so I'm kind of thinking maybe one of these this is a you know also where this smaller flower is actually proving slightly better um, you know the others they're quite big in terms of width so yeah for me I would probably stick at that one and a quarter inch size but you know we all like I said we all have our own preferences oh my goodness actually now thinking maybe I don't even want to have the red maybe I want to keep it colourless I don't very often do colourless but I do like it and I always feel so proud of myself when I have done colourless and you know remained rigid and not actually you know stuck a load of colour on because you know that's a struggle for me it's got to be said you know I, I do struggle to not put colour on things uh, and I've got these pearly pearls pearly pearls yep this pink one. Oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look i love that oh that's so pretty oh well it was so pretty i've now lost the pearl can i see it on the floor anywhere in the mountains everything oh no oh okay i have got it crisis averted ah <laughs> that was a bit scary hairy wasn't it hairy scary hmm. Honestly, I did not think I was going to find that. <gasps> okay. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? I love how that looks. Right, next one. So let's try this one. So these florals are looking very, very good on these, aren't they? <gasps> oh my goodness. Honestly, oh, I love these bows. Thank you so much, Antonio. This has made my day, honestly wanted to do these bows for like ages and you know I'm not the greatest at following tutorials and I have said that before but yeah not the greatest at following tutorials and so I've never actually fathomed out how to you know how to actually make them so you've made my day that these are so straightforward and I can now can now actually make some you know because I really do love them yeah they're going to be one of my new favorite things I think my new favourite things to make. Right, I'm going to put this flower down. I haven't quite decided what look I like the best. So, let me just take another, another one of these. Now, unfortunately, these white flowers, um, I'm still trying to source these. So, I don't have these ones in my shop. Um, I do have all the other flower trims and things. I do have the bling. These ones, I'm kind of struggling to actually source them. So yeah, I don't have them currently. Now, do we like the blue flower, you know, with the white? Do we like that best? Or do you like the bling best? Oh my goodness, come on. Do you like the bling best? Or maybe I prefer the bling. Yeah, maybe. Again, just kind of pop that down. Using the hot glue again, just for speed. Okay. Yep. Oh, loving these. They are just so yummy, aren't they? Really, really, really love them. Yeah. Right. Okay. Made my day that I can make these now because honestly, I wanted to do them for ages. So I'm wondering, I've got some decorative edge strips here, which again, I have had these in my shop on my website. Um, whether there are any there now I don't know these are one of those items that's not going to be there all the time but just kind of stocked on there sometimes so I don't know whether these are likely to be on there at the moment but yeah do do have a look because you know there could be some um but I'm kind of thinking these bows would look quite cute on the the decorative edge strips either kind of at the top going across or oops at the bottom in the middle or kind of just running down the side my instant thought had been running down the side but actually I'm kind of preferring them 
I think, you know, running across. So I'm just going to glue this on. Now, I am being really, really lazy and I'm using my hot glue. Hot glue, not necessary for this. You know, I'm kind of like, yeah, not, not necessary to be using hot glue. You could use, you know, wet glue or, you know, your, your glue of choice for just gluing it onto a, a decorative edge strip. But, oops. The hot glue you know that just enables it to be stuck down pretty instantly so yeah how cute does that look just love that so let's pretend that this was a journal page so either you know a, a plain page so that would be you know running down the edge of your page you could have it kind of as a belly band you know how gorgeous does that look or if it was a decorative page Again, that's how it would look then on a decorative page. Isn't that just so pretty? Oh, I love it. Honestly, I'm really wanting to make lots of these. Right, let's have a look and see what else I've got. So I've got here one of those envelope um, pockets that we've made in a mass making. This is just my flea market papers. Um, and again, just thinking how gorgeous they look with the William Morris, this William Morris paper. And can could just finish that pocket off oh my goodness I mean what about that and that does not need anything else that just looks awesome just exactly like that doesn't it so all I'm going to do is just ink around that pocket just a little bit I mean it doesn't need kind of loads of ink but yeah just a little bit I'm just going to ink here because this one I've actually gone with the you know the envelope color if you see what I mean I often do, um, you know, cover these with decorative papers, but I left these as the envelope colour because actually it was, you know, quite pretty. So just going to put that like that. Now, which way up do we like it? Yeah, I think this way up. And then this gorgeous yummy bow, I'm just going to put there on that edge, which I just love how that looks. I mean, personally for me, that doesn't need anything else there whatsoever. It looks you know just yummy as it is um but i mean of course you could put other things down now i'm just wondering if i have anything to put inside there <sighs> oh my goodness just looking for one of my little cards you know that i use to do the glue spreading no nope. and of course i can't find one. Oh, that's so annoying and typical isn't it yeah can't find my um cards that i like to use for glue glue spreading so what I'm going to do just going to use a bit of book page here and the reason being is because I'm going to hot, hot glue this bow down I don't want it to stick onto the inner here so just in case just in case I have glue kind of seeping or you know spilling out I just want to make sure it's not going to run onto the other side so again just, just using that hot glue, pop that down like that. There we go. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that look? Oh, I still got glue seeping out for some reason. What is going on with me? There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how that looks. And hopefully you can see what I mean about these. I don't think need gluing down. They're not really kind of going anywhere. You know, they're 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 up they're not attached but you know this is glued down at the bottom um so i think they're probably secure enough if you were worried you could just put like a little dab of glue maybe you know just in here just sort of near the near the center and that would just kind of secure that further just you know if you felt that it needed a little bit of extra sort of securing so i'll just do the same on here I mean, like I said, I'm not worried. I don't think it's going anywhere. But just if you were, rather than glue like the whole, you know, this whole kind of section down, you know, to keep a little bit of kind of movement, you could just go in and just glue, you know, right in here near the, near the centre. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love them. Honestly, this is my highlight of the day learning how to do these so yeah thank you so much Antonio and like I say I will link his video so please do go and check it out it's a brilliant tutorial um and yeah if you've got the we are memory keepers punch board 
um, you know, you two could be making some of these gorgeous yummy bows. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have fun if you decide to make some of these. And thank you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.